Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion insight again. This morning, I want to share with you the primacy of love. And my text is found in 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. It says, the greatest of these is love. You know, we are very familiar with the fruit of the Spirit and love is actually one of the fruit, of first fruit. Huh? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, etc. So, love is the first uh, word mentioned or first virtue mentioned in the fruit of the Spirit. You know, to um, the Holy Spirit, the work of the Holy Spirit in the life of a Christian moves in two important directions. To produce purity and to produce power. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. To sanctify us, to produce purity and to produce power. Power to live for Him, power to be a witness. So the power aspect can be seen in the study of the gifts of the Spirit, you know, and the purity aspect in the study of the fruit of the Spirit. So both are equally important. So when we talk about the fruit of the Spirit, we are not intending to divert our attention, you know, from the gifts of the Spirit. We are not doing that. But rather, we are trying to tell ourselves that, you know, it's just like uh, we have both hands and uh, can you imagine if we have only one hand, we, we, we can't use the other hand. Somehow we are hindered. So having the spirit within results in many things. But as we know that one of the most important results is a quality of being. B-E-I-N-G. Of being. A quality of being which has nine characteristics. You know, And the first of these, like I said just now, when we can, you can go back and read, you know, on in Galatians, um, the fruit of the spirit. The first of this is love, and the, this emphasis on the primacy, the importance, the basic about what it is to have the fruit of the spirit is love. Fits this teaching in First Corinthians chapter thirteen because it says that at the last line. The greatest of these is love. You know, when we examine this chapter and these words are found, it will be discovered that every fruit of the Spirit mentioned in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23 involves this supernatural love. That means if you want to be patient, you have to have love. If you want to be kind, you have to have love. If you want to have perseverance, you have to have love. You know, so indeed, every, in either way, it is synonym. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, these synonyms actually will lead to the fact that the primary base foundation of the fruit of the Spirit is to have love. So all the fruit depends on the first, and that is love. So love suffers long, long suffering. Love is kind. Love does not envy. And that is goodness. Love does not parade itself. It's not puffed up. Meekness or gentleness. Love seeks not its own. It's not easily provoked. That's self-control. Love rejoices in the truth. Joy. And love bears all things. Hopes all things. That's faithfulness. Having love, we have all the fruit of the Spirit. Without it, we are nothing. Amen. So let us this morning say, God, fill me with the love of God. Help me to be able to bear the fruit of the Spirit, of the Holy Spirit in my life. And the primary, the basic, the first one is to have love. Because as in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 13 says, the greatest of these is love. Let there be the love of God in our hearts and lives. Let us be so saturated uh, that we will say, I will choose to bear forth fruit, the fruit of love, to show forth love in true, in and through my life. Let this be our prayer, gracious Father. I see that whatever else I possess, if I do not possess love, I am nothing. Help me to keep all my channels open to you so that Love, 
God's love, agape love, will grow in me. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you and may love be the very source, the very power, the very, you know, uh, reference and, uh, that we choose to have as we live for Him. Amen.